Okay, so I had a lot of questions about uh, running the PlayStation 3 controller on uh, no DLC, the Sega Dreamcast emulator. So you're going to want to download the Motion Joy drivers, the PS3 drivers for your computer first from uh, MotionJoy.com. I'll include it in the in the link below. And once you've done that, you'll get an interface that works kind of like this. So just select PS3 on this, and you can set up your buttons one by one when you do it the first time around. I've already done it in the options on the menu there. So once that's done, keep this program minimized. Also, I recommend clicking the enable on the vibrate function, whether you're using it or not. For some reason, with the emulators, I need to always turn this on to get the controller to work. More so D-pad. So once you've done that, and you've calibrated the controller, open up now the LC, go to options, and go to maple, port A, and go to config keys for player 1. And you'll see the motion joy, any other game pad you may have might come in here as well. So just select motion joy virtual game controller, and then you can just set up your buttons individually. So just like that, and like that, you can just set these buttons up to fit you, it's whatever suits you. Um, I always stick with the controller type joystick default because otherwise you have to set up the hat and that's just a load of trouble so just stick to that and just like press the d-pad and it will eventually work the way it should so when you've done that go ok and then just start the system ok so once that boots then you should just be able to use your controller just like so, up down, left, right. So it should be just as easy as that for you. You shouldn't have any trouble with that at all. B A all working. So there you have it. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Remember motionjoy.com, and when you have this set up, always keep it minimized, and always remember to hit enable here. This purple button. I don't know why, but it seems to make the controller work that's for anyone's getting the no controller error is probably this so just give that a try any questions or anything just let me know